One, one, one. What in the world are you doing? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another one of my viewers, Genshin Impact accounts. He's also a friend of mine and has given me permission to access his account and do a full review of it just to take a look at some things like weapons, artifacts, characters, and more. Before we get into the video guys, if you would like, I have a Twitch channel which I will link down below. You can go and check that out over at twitch.tv slash kaishin. I will be streaming over there later this week on Saturday at 2pm Eastern Standard Time. So if you want a chance to get your account reviewed, you can go and check that out. Also, I'd really appreciate it if you were to click that subscribe button. It only takes two seconds and it really helps me out a lot. Anyways, let's get into the video. Okay, first things first, what we need to check is, are we dealing with a whale or a free-to-play player? Let's see. It looks free-to-play. I don't think he spent um, money on any of the gem packs, so I think we're dealing with a free-to-play player here. But they have reset, so he may have bought some of these in a previous time. But we are going to assume free-to-play. Um, the shop, you don't have any Primo gems. That signifies that you haven't been playing the game in a while, which is understandable because it has been in, in a bit of a drought recently with, you know, the no recent updates and, you know, all the problems with the Serena Teapot and whatnot. Uh, you don't have any of the Blessing of the Welcome Moons active right now. So, yes, I think we are dealing with a free-to-play player. None of the skin spot. Oh, as of time of recording this, is the Battle Pass is not active right now, but I believe he has not bought any Battle Passes. So, we are going to assume that this is a completely free-to-play account. And taking that into account, I wonder what your wishes look like. You have not wished on the beginner's wish. What? Why have you not wished on the beginner's wish yet? This is a 20% discount. There's no reason not to. Have you wished on standard banner before? No, you've w oh, you've wished on it three times. You only have three wishes. See, so you, <laughs> you haven't done you. You get a, you get a 10% discount, so you're saving primo gems either way. As for the weapon banner, I'm gonna assume you haven't rolled on this because you shouldn't. You have rolled on the weapon banner. Well, what's this for? Well, you only did you only did a 10 pull on it. I don't think this is so up to date. So he may have done more rolls before 2021, so it could be early in the year. But I, you know, I can't really tell with um, with what we have here. And then your Ayaka on the Ayaka banner, I imagine you probably rolled on some character banners. Oh, does the wish history not go back that far? Okay, interesting. So the wish history doesn't go back that far. Because I know he has a couple five stars, but he hasn't been playing the game as of recent. So he may have more wishes and whatnot, but they just, you know, the, the wish shifts and isn't up to date. Let's take a look at the character archive, because this is going to be interesting. So what five stars are we working with here? So you haven't got any, none of the recent five stars or the recent four stars. Um, so you did get Kuja Star and Sayu, which is good. But you get any, you got none of the Inazuma five stars, which is a little sad. Um, you do have Aloy, which, you know, I'm sorry. Um, you got Yanfei Rosaria for four stars, and Yan. You have all of the early game four stars for the most part, except for Fischl, which is a, which is a big one, and then Razor, which is not as important. Um, as for five stars, though, you got Mona, Kaching, and Chichi, the three common ones, and you missed out on Gina Diluc, which is fine. Um, you got Klee, and then you also got Qtao, so you only have five five stars. Which is fine, two Pyro DPSs, so I imagine these would be the two that you'd use for the Spiral Abyss if you were to use a main DPS character. But other than that, you're not really looking with too many 5 stars here, so I am a bit concerned for you. AR50, which is a little low, that means you haven't been playing the game for too much time recently. You seem to really like Rosaria, your character profile, you got Rosaria, Klee, Zingcho, and Guang. A bit of a, a ragtag cast, if, uh, if I say so myself. A, a couple odd ones, you level up Aloy to 50 which is a little weird, but we'll take a look at your inventory. Oh, it is, oh boy, okay. First thing I notice, there's nothing here. <laughs> you have no three-star weapons at all, and you have, you have you have a dull blade on your Chi-Chi, and you have a dull blade on your Traveler. Oh no, you got, Apprentice notes on Mona. So yeah, you got a lot of one-star weapons on your characters Which isn't a good thing. You do not want that. You do have a couple of mystic enhancement orbs, which is good to level up um, Possible later weapons and then you got level 80 r5 do, do go tails on your cleave Which is a good choice for her you got an r3 wood sith on your ningguang, which is a good choice 
and then you have a second Widsith at level 70. Why didn't you just level up the other one to 90? This is so pointless. You have two Widsith. Who, who's, who are you putting this on? There's nobody put this with it. This is a waste. Lock this at least. You could have just refined this. You could have just refined this to four. Because you're not using this level 70 with this on anyone anyways. What's the point in this? I guess maybe you could put it on Sucrose or somebody like that. And then you got Favonius Lance on your Q Tau. I I don't think that's a Q Tau weapon if I'm being honest. I don't think Q Tau can really use Favonius Lance. That's more for like sub DPS characters, man. And Q Tau is not a sub DPS character by any means. Even this would be better for Hugh Tau, I'm sure. Or actually, I don't know how good part Prototype Star Glitter is. But you have got to get a better weapon for Hugh Tau, man. Well, we're going to move on from that because I don't think even... Th there's no better spear here for your Hugh Tau other than Favonius Lance, honestly. Like, Prototype Star Glitter is better. But anything else you'd have to wish on. And you have no Primo Gems. <laughs> so there's nothing you could do about this. And then you got Prototype Rankner on your Bennett, which is honestly fine. Sword of Dissension, which is the PlayStation weapon. I don't know how good this is. Maybe this is good for PlayStation players. I genuinely have no idea. And then I'm going to assume the rest of these characters you don't care about. <laughs> so then we look at artifacts. Wow. They're even more abysmal than your weapons were. You have 4 plus 20 artifacts. Oh no. This is a nice artifact. This is a really good artifact. That's, a, that's almost a 40 crit value flower. That's a really good artifact. Um, this is pretty good. It's in the wrong set, but it's still fine. Yeah, it's gonna annoy me that you don't lock your pieces, but, you know, not everybody does that. Why did you level this up? This has three flat stats. Oh my goodness. This has three flat stats. Attack percent. There's... And you took this to 20. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> oh no. This also has 777 lucky number HP. Oh no, and you have 49 flat attack. Why? Oh, I don't want to look at your Hugh Tau's ratio. The problem is, is with this account, is there's, is there's nothing I can do to fix this other than, other than maybe use resin and hope we get a better artifact. Like, yeah, you got 10 fragile. Maybe we can do something, but that might be for, you know, a future video. Because I don't want to spend your resin. Because I don't even know where I would start with trying to fix this account, man. Because there's just so much to do. Your resin's capped. Your dailies aren't done. You have a million things on the side here that you need to complete. Bro, just get your freaking marvelous merchandise. It's right there. Same thing with the soccer's favorite. It's not that hard to just go claim your stuff. I'm not going to do it for you. Because I think you know how to do that. It's pretty simple. We'll check the adventures handbook. Have you even completed this? You have not completed the Adventurer's Handbook. How? Clear five three. That's like the easiest floor. How have you not cleared four? Floor five of the Spiral Abyss. What Spiral Abyss are you on? Oh no. You're on floor five, chamber one. What in the world happened? How are we on? How are we doing on floor five, chamber one? And you've got two stars in it. Frankly, the the fact that you beat these earlier floors is a, a blessing in itself. Uh, what are the what are the levels of the enemies in this one? I don't even remember. Can you check? Yeah, they're level 55. Bro, you clap them. You have level 80 characters. You can beat this easily. You go Rosaria. You go clear Rosaria. It doesn't even matter. Like Sucros Sucros Bennett. Honest, honestly, that's fine. And then the second party, you go Two Thousand Cho, and that's all, honestly all you need. You really have no other support characters built. So I guess you could throw Chi Chi in there, and then maybe Ningguang, but that's not even really necessary. Because Ningguang wouldn't really provide anything to that team. And the problem is you have no other support characters built. All these good characters are level 1. And the thing is, you can take them to 22, because you get a free Acquaint Fate. So it's like, why wouldn't you take them to 20? You got a free Wish, and then you could finally go do your Novice Wishes, because you still haven't done those. Oh my goodness. Yeah, if, even if you got all your characters up to 20, you'd be able to do the 8 novice wishes, and you guarantee to get another report, and you could get official, and that's like, game-changing. Official's a game-changing unit. We'll start with the characters now. Thank you, Tao. Favonius Lance. You really got nothing else, man. You got nothing else, I guess. You got nothing else. I almost, I almost want to swap this, because I feel like Rosaria would generate particles better with Favonius Lance, and maybe she'll need that more. I mean, if you had to choose between these two, I guess you go Favonius Lance for Q Tau. That's fine. You have four Crimson Witch, which is 
Uh, considerably good. Talents are... One, one, one. What in the world are you doing? This is your main DPS, which, I mean, maybe maybe it's Cleet. Maybe it's Cleet. But you still like her. You have a few talents yet, and you haven't even started on her talents yet. How is that possible? What's your, what's your, what's your split? Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. 22-131. Do I even want to look at the artifacts? I don't think I do. I think it's going to hurt my soul if I look at artifacts. <laughs> you have an HP... Sands, which I guess is fine with 13 crit rate is pretty good You have an attack percent Goblet with 60 flat defense and 35 flat attack. I imagine you have no pyro damage. You do have a pyro damage cup well, There we go problem solved You don't use this because this is a piece of garbage. This is oh, that's such a bad piece you maybe can get an HP Sans in set, and then you're set for Hutao. And then you you don't... Uh, that piece is worse. <laughs> this piece is also terrible. Bro, there's... It's so abysmal. There's nothing to... There's nothing I can do to help you. Because you have no artifacts. First thing you do is you switch off this piece. The thing is, I guess Klee's using this piece. But still, even like this set isn't worth it if you're not using a Pyro Damage Cup. And this, and this Goblet isn't even worth using. Because it's just such trash. <laughs> and you don't even have Constellation 6, so you can't justify running next to zero crit rate. There's no excuse <laughs> to run that little. And then your talents, how have you not leveled up your talents yet? 1-1-1, one, one, one. like, you're not going to be able to kill anything with 1-1-1. One, one, one. And you have such an important character to level up the talents on. You, you level up your Rosaria's talents before your Hugh Tows. You level up her normal attack. Your Rosaria's normal attack. Before you level up Hutao's her normal attack or E or her burst. What? Constellation Zero. Um, two piece blizzard, two piece of uh, noblesse. That's pretty good. And then weapon. Uh, it's, it's better than anything else. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, at least you get crit rate from her passives. So I guess it's kind of fine. But uh, you don't even have 100% crit damage. Ugh. This piece is such pain. So is this one. What? That one's fine. That's a pretty good piece, I guess. Oh my gosh. You're running an attack percent hat. It rolled crit damage twice. Oh, dude. Can we roll it once more? I don't know. I can't sack those pieces. Oh my goodness, man. And you, have, and you level up like level six blue artifacts. And you know this isn't an early game account. Dude, you're AR50. You've been playing this game forever, and this is all you got. I mean, AR50, I guess, isn't that far in the game, but still. <sighs> Zing Cho, 80 out of 80. Sword of Dissension. Uh, uh, maybe this is good on him. I have no idea. Constellation 3. Artifacts. Two-piece Noblesse, two-piece Hydro. Right, I think you prioritize um, the set bonuses over the, uh, the main stats themselves, which is never an idea. Like this, like the 50% Hydro damage bonus you get here, is completely neglected if you don't have a good hydro damage bonus goblet and you know this one is uh <sighs> i don't want to comment on that um energy recharge i mean yeah you have all the right main stats but the subsets are just so bad that it's almost like he healing bonus you don't need healing bonus on zing cho you don't need heal there's no reason to run healing bonus on him uh, I, I guess he heals Hu Tao, so maybe that's that's kind of justifiable. But Hu Tao doesn't need healing because she wants to be low to get um, some of her talents to work properly. And you level and again, you level up Zing Cho's normal attack, which you which you don't need to do. <laughs> Instead of leveling up something more important like any of Hu Tao's talents. Oh my goodness! I don't even know. Where, I don't even know where I'd start with you know trying to get you on the right track. It's just your Bennett's level seventy. <laughs> It's the best thing you got. It's the best thing you got. You have no artifacts on your Bennett. You don't even have a noblesse set on your Bennett. Just go, just do one noblesse. Any noblesse will work on Bennett. And you have this god flower on Bennett that you might as well just put on Zing Cho. Honestly, that would probably help Zing Cho more than it would help your Bennett. What a, it's better than it was before. There's just so much artifact farming. 
you know, this is only level 6. It should be level 8. I mean, your Ben is only level 70. You should get him to 80. Okay. Let's look at your main DPS here. Your pride and joy, Cleave, who is missing artifacts. You have a level a level 80 uh, Dodical Tales, R5, which is good. But that also is a free one from the event. Two-piece Wanderers with no artifacts. Very interesting. C0, 545. <laughs> Very, very low, but you know, is what it is. Um, you got a level plus zero flower, and then you got an HP hat. Ugh. You can make long. Again, just no artifacts. Like, there's nothing you can really say. Like, one on one, like, what's happening here? I, you don't even need to level up Ning Guang anymore because you already have two main DPS characters. So just stop leveling Ning Guang, stop leveling Yan Fei. Chi Chi and Sucrose is a good sub DPS. You can level up your Sucrose. Chi Chi is another great healer you can level up your chi chi stop leveling your way stop leveling traveler stop leveling amber stop leveling noel and level up some of these level one characters you have like mona great sub dps would probably work great with Klee. kachang not necessary but could also work diona great healer Ling, awesome sub dps these are really good options sub dps characters that you can build and put on teams so like four spiral abyss in the future like you could probably go some of these comps that i'm suggesting you right now and you'll crush it and you'll crush it man so you go hu tao zing cho sucrose and then you go um what's a good option for this comp chi chi solid that's a solid team and you go uh, um and then you have like i don't even know you put bennett in here and then mona sure and that's, you know, that's a fine team. And you could probably crush the Spiral Abyss with this. It's just none of these characters are equipped with artifacts. And Mona's still level 1. Which is fine. Because Mona isn't like a necessity character like some other characters. But if you have one, you should still level it. Same thing with Zhang Wei. Other than that, like, obviously, you have talents to work on. You uh, the fir Your first priority right now should be working on talents. These should not be level 1. These need to be higher. Stop leveling up Rosario's normal attack. Stop leveling up Zing Cho's normal attack. Bennett's all you just want to pump this up because Bennett's the most cracked in, in the entire game. That's all you need with Bennett is his alt. Sucrose, again, not should not be 1-1-1. Honestly, all you need with Sucrose is Elemental Mastery. The artifacts don't even matter. Four of Redison is nice, but it's not necessary. You get some other artifacts on Sucrose, just like yeah, like two-piece instructor, even like two-piece exile, it's fine. You get the 20% extra recharge like honestly it doesn't matter you're probably early game still and that's probably fine for suit gross chi chi uh again stop leveling her normal attack you don't need normal attack on chi your her burst is still at one that should not be a one um i actually don't know the artifacts for chi chi i've never played her but just a simple google search and you'll find some you know great artifacts for chi chi you know definitely some wishing would help get more primos so you can get better weapons for a lot of these characters because you know you are missing some good weapons look you can't even like craft good weapons for some of these characters you're just gonna need to you know get lucky on banners and you're just gonna need to get better weapons for them because full of these lance just you know won't cut it late game neither will prototype star glitter or probably sort of ascension or prototype fragment uh dodoko deos is fine that's probably the only good weapon can you use sacrificial frags on sucros instead of um throwing tales of dragon slayers honestly you can use sac frags that's gonna be a big upgrade for suit gross because you get the 48 am from that and once you get that to 90 it's gonna do a lot more okay i think other than that there's just not much we can do for this account other than use resin but i don't like to use resin for people because i feel like it takes away from the player experience and i don't like to do you know everything for the person but yeah man if you just get your stuff you know sorted out and you start leveling up those talents and those characters and you start like get grinding the right artifacts it's just gonna take a lot of work right and, you know, if you put in the work, you'll get there eventually. So, you know, all the best, and I wish you luck in your future endeavors. Anyways, guys, that will be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more in the future, please consider subscribing or leaving a like down below. Thank you for watching.